welcome to Ikate's Crossing. Welcome, welcome to Ikate's Crossing. Okay, today, well, a little while ago actually, I did my Wheel of the Year spread with using the Starman Tarot. Now, I started with January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. You can do it any way you like. This is how I do it, Wheel of the Year, starting with January up here. Now, to me, I know it looks like upside down to you guys but for me we're starting with January here which is my top of course which is of course your bottom and the first card it was the princess of pentacles so I looked at the princess of pentacles and of course my blog which I've started I've started to type it up in my tarot journal of course so with the Starman Tarot as the Princess of Pentacles, my first thought for January is going to be one of growth. It's, it's possible that we'll that I'll learn new aspects of something important, could be related to health, finances, and security on many levels. So what I want to do is each month take that card and expand further on it, like I did during 2021 I want to do 2021 should I say I want to do the same thing for 2022 so with the princess of pentacles okay now I have um, gone through and looked at each of these cards for each month so we have February is the tower and I'll explain a little bit more during February in regards to that card um, March is ace of wands We've got five of cups for um, April, May, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles for June, July was Queen of Swords, Sacred Clown, which is the, like the full in the Starman Tarot. Next we have Prince of Swords. Seven of Swords, Two of Swords, and Ace of Cups. So when we look at this, we know that this year is going to be full of thoughts, ideas, perspectives. Could be about communication, could be a huge thing for this year. Um, could be a lot about um, finance or health related issues. Maybe a little bit of emotion. A little bit of desire possibility so anyway that's going to be sort of a year of all sorts of different things going on each month I'll go through and have a look at the related card and we'll expand a little bit further so let's remove this and have a look and see what January what January is going to provide for me as we look at the princess of pentacles so what deck am I actually going to use to further this or what decks am I going to use, use to look at and I'm feeling a lot of it could be with the um, oceanic tarot for January for some reason I feel like this could be a good month but I also want to look at a couple of things I want to look at what herb I could be working with as well I think I want to sort of dive a little bit into the Herb Crafter Tarot. So I want to look at what herb I'm going to do. So let's have a look at a general message for me over January. So the general message for me, if I'm going to look at the Oceanic Tarot, is Four of Cups. So I might be a month of sort of being dissatisfied with things that are going on. I need to be really aware of that sense of dissatisfaction. Sense of needing to be creative in some way. So I could be a little bit dissatisfied with things, so I need to be a little bit creative, get into a bit more of a creative energy. And the last card we have here is the Ace of Wands. Could be a lot about movement. Could be a lot about moving, moving things within forward could be really important for sort of a month to think about in January. 
could be quite important. Okay, so let's have a look at um, a herb. Oh, that jumped out there. And that was dandelion. So let's have a look and see what the herb craft is showing. Because we're looking at dandelion. We know the fall does talk about new beginnings and having a little bit of fun, etc, etc. But let's have a look at the dandelion and see what it actually says. So let's have a look. Follow your dream seeds, be audacious in your adventures, seek wisdom and weeds. A basket of dandelion flowers lies in grass, stones mark the cardinal directions, but the arrow shaped leaves point to many possible paths. Some plants fill from the wild crafting pouch that rests on the ground and one eight butterflies sets off. So it does talk about the water full of adventure, open to what you have never known before, like the dandelion seeds that float freely in all directions. Trust the changing winds as you embark on a new journey. The bright yellow flowers are bold and lively, bears a delicious and spirit of genuine exploration. Often thought of as a weed, dandelion is, is an inviting first medicine for the new herbalist. Keep your mind open, be willing to experience life as a beginner, be a pioneer. They harvest a dandelion seed and wear it as an amulet when you set off on a new journey. Make dandelion vinegar and sip it when you need to be bold and audacious. Practice finding wisdom in unlikely places. Create a mandala with weeds. It's interesting, so I'm going to think about dandelion. Might do a little bit more um, research. And see what else comes through. So interesting. So that's what I'm going to think about for the month of January. And explore a little bit more about my creativity. Why do I feel dissatisfied or bored with with life right now? What what do I need to do to improve that situation so I don't feel that way? How do I move forward on my journey? And working with so working with dandelion. So I might have a look at some teas or something that has um, a little bit of dandelion in it. Get some dandelion and see where it is for me. So that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe and ring the bell. And don't forget to check back each month if you want to follow my journey and of the Wheel of the Year spread. So that's it from me. Take care.